We are learning from authorities that at least 207 people were killed in these bombings in Sri Lanka and hundreds injured. The death toll is expected to rise. The first round of bombings this morning targeted three churches and three luxury hotels across the island, according to police. Another two bombings occurred later in the day. Authorities say the majority of the eight bombings happened in the capital city of Colombo, and reports do indicate that 35 foreign nationals were killed, including American citizens. Police have arrested seven people believed to be connected to the attacks. Footage shows one suspect being loaded into a police car as an angry crowd throws punches at him. The three hotels that were hit are all popular for tourists visiting the island, and many likely came to celebrate the Easter holiday with friends and family. Video footage from the site of one church shows blood strewn across the pews and bodies covered with sheets. Many churches in Sri Lanka have now canceled their Easter services out of fear that another bombing could occur. Following the tragedy, President Trump tweeted his condolences, saying the United States stands ready to help. Although just over 7% of Sri Lanka's population is Christian, the history of Christianity in Sri Lanka dates back to the first century. The leader of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, weighed in on this Easter Sunday attack, saying this. I wish to express my affectionate closeness to the Christian community hit while it was gathered in prayer and to all of the victims of such cruel violence. Just 10 days ago, Sri Lanka's police chief warned that suicide bombers wanted to hit churches across the country. His statement was reportedly based on intelligence provided by another country, saying that NTJ, a group described by the Economic Times as a radical Muslim group, was planning the attacks. So far today, no group has taken responsibility. Now, Pete Jedediah Ed reports do indicate in Sri Lanka that a curfew has been imposed and social media has been banned in an effort for authorities there to avoid further casualties.